Okay, look what we have here. We have a package, y'all. We got a package. Um, I just picked it up like literally right now. And I'm not waiting because I already know what's in here. And yes, as you can see by the title, I do have a second camera. I did buy. Where's my unboxing? Where is my unboxing? Scissors, not knife. Scissors. I got my unboxing scissors over here, y'all. All right, so like I'm super excited. Guess down below what camera camera this is if you can guess um good for you but do not cheat so this is going to be my all-around camera slash do it all when i travel when i want to feel cool when i want to like you know what i'm saying when so the camera that i chose was fuji gw6 90 mark 3 this is the camera you guys voted for on ig when i posted it when i gave you the option do you guys want to see momia 645 or the gw and you guys wow it feels so good you guys voted for the gw so i'm super pumped Oh my, I was more excited for this camera more than I was for the Pentax, I will be honest. I don't know if we're bright enough, I don't know if it's bright enough in here, but... <sighs> here we are, we have the camera, so what we're gonna do guys, we're gonna set it over here. We're gonna put the Tim Warren's coffee side on the side, you know what I'm saying? First things first, let's look through the body. Everything's looking mint, just like it was listed as. Ooh, the lens looks sharp, everything looks sharp. Oh wow, this is bright. Wow, okay, so I'm very impressed the way the camera looks. It looks really clean, super clean. I think this might be the cleanest film camera I've ever put my hands on, um, that I own, that I've ever put my hands on. And it feels good, it feels really good in my hands. Wow, optics are looking good. This is kind of finicky. If you own one of these cameras, tell me if there's a trick to fixing this. Pops out easily. Popping it back in is annoying. But like, I heard reviews that people don't like this. And if that's the reason why, I see why. Because this shit looks super annoying, bruh. This is a fixed lens, guys. This produces 6x9. 6x9. Do you know how big that is? So yeah, now we're going to open it up. Ooh, look at that. That's looking really clean in there. Everything is looking really clean, but it looks like some of the foam over here started to deteriorate. Yeah. So now we're gonna test this out real quick. Fully my jiggy jiggy works. This is a range finder guys, so there's not really much to check over. It's stuck on the 220. I gotta find a way to like fix this on over here. Oh, you, it pulls out. Oh, okay, they're perfect. There's not really much to this camera, guys, if I'm being honest. There's only that. It's a point and shoot style. Here's a uh, flash sync. Need this because I shoot a lot of studio stuff as well. Over here, the lock is on. Lock off. I don't know if I could, if I could hear the sound of the shutter. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's looking good. The optics look clean when you look through it. Here we have the Texas Leica. I don't know why they call it. I don't like that name. Texas Leica. Like, it sounds kind of odd. Maybe it's because I'm Canadian. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the way that sounds. So, we're going to actually try the shutter speeds. So let's do eighth of a second. Sixtieth. Oh, you got to crank twice. Yeah, that's looking really good. Wow, okay, so shutter speeds are looking pretty good. I'm gonna go through it thoroughly and do every single shutter speed, but everything's looking really good. And guys, this is a mechanical camera, and you guys know I love mechanical cameras. Whenever you're shooting film, I highly suggest, guys, pick a mechanical camera if you have the option. That's why I say the RB is the best out of the b between the RZ because reliability guys is so important going out on the field and knowing that your camera is gonna hold you down you know what I'm saying you don't want your camera to be floppy flop flop you know what I'm saying it's gotta pull through because you're pulling through this is why I picked this guy up it's a it's a solid camera it feels solid it is plastic body but it has a metal frame in the inside I'm gonna bring the strap over here so we could, we could carry it this way I don't want to carry it that way it seems pretty like weird welcome the GW you too 
the lineup of my camera so now we have the pentax 645 and then we're gonna do the gw if you guys want me to do a what's in my camera bag comment down below let me know if you guys want to see a video on all the gear that i have i'll do a gear update now because i i picked up a ton of stuff guys i picked up a ton of stuff if you guys want to see an update i'll, I'll do it i'll do it for y'all but other than that it's the boy shingy as usual you already know what it is excited to bring you guys some photos that i'm gonna create with this i'm probably gonna do a testing video testing the camera out um the video is probably gonna be next after this one okay i don't know what what film this is because for some reason the writing was disappeared so it's delta so that's a good surprise Random gloves. It's my first time loading this, so it's kind of tricky. But it's looking really easy. Easier than the um, MTAC 645. And easier than every camera I've ever used, really. And yeah, other than that, thank you guys again. It's a boy Shingy. As usual, you know what it is. Follow me on Instagram at Shop by Shingy. Check out my work at shopbyshingy.com. And also check out my brand, waybetterco.com. That's where I sell all my presets and all my merch and all. Everything that I'll ever sell will be on waybetterco.com. And last but not least, if you want me to check you out, follow and hashtag at WePhotoGods for me to check you out and to feature you. Um, other than that, guys, uh, it's the boy Shingy. Excited to start using this camera. I love traveling. I I'm so excited to have it with me. I'm not so excited about how much it's going to cost to use it, but I'm excited. Either way, I'm excited. Do you